Well, yeah, hi YouTube. Uh, it's Michael again. I have here this um, no uh, noise generator, my random generator, true uh, random generator. And uh, I have installed this switch here, and this has a special background. And this is what the video is all about. It's uh, about installing a bootloader onto the AVR, which makes it possible to program the AVR, the firmware of the AVR, directly over, say, a USB connection without without using uh, these programming tools. Um, this has, of course, uh, certain advantages because the user can update his firmware all by himself without needing any special tools. So, and I uh, have found this bootloader from Peter Fleury, which I have actually installed on this device right now. And I want to demonstrate how this works. Well, right now the device is just connected and it's working and it's executing his program. And uh, you see, it can roll a dice or can generate a password. You see? So, uh, what if I want to install a new firmware now? So, I go to the firmware directory. So, say Mac is probably already built, and let's say bootloader upload. Well, obviously this isn't working right now because the device is not in bootloader mode. So what I have to do to get it into bootloader mode is, uh, oh, well, with one hand, not so good, <laughs> disconnect it. And while it is disconnect, you need to press this button. It has to be pressed right after reset, so it's just like pressing F5 or something to boot a PC into to get a PC into into opening the bootloader menu. It's just the same way here. Um, not good with one hand. It works perfectly if you have two hands. Well, let's make it this. Use my elbow. So connect the device again. It's now in bootloader mode. See this because uh, this LED is lit permanently. It says I'm now in bootloader mode. And now you can flash the firmware. Let's do this. The bootloader is emulating an SDK 500 version 2 firmware. It's, uh, it's emulating ex exactly this board here. So can be programmed using um, AVR Dude with e with exactly that firmware. You see, it's programming now. So, and the firmware is flashed. And now I've installed a new firmware. It automatically goes into uh, the application mode, starts the application, and now it's, it's back to to running to running the new install timber which in this uh, in this case is well it's the same as before <laughs> but this was just a demonstration you know um, 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 um. let's roll a dice again I guess I roll a three no six it's two times three well well close enough so that's it <laughs> And uh, well, this bootloader, it's um, it uses about well, it needs a, a thousand a twenty-four words boot section, which means two kilo of code. It's not the smallest bootloader you can achieve, but um, it's very handy because well, as you can see here, it is possible to use AVR Dude using SDK 500 uh, version two protocol. I configured the bootloader to run with uh, 9600 baud, but this is really configurable, so don't worry. This is the device, and this FTD by USB 0, this is actually um, the device itself. You see, no magic, it's just the USB cable, there's nothing else attached to it, and like this, you can install a new firmware using your devices. Makes it possible to directly via USB update a firmware of of a certain device, which is very handy, so and very noble for the user. So, if you have maybe some questions about the procedure, you might drop me a message online. I always prefer ICQ, and uh, well, 
Thanks for watching again and um, have a lot of fun.